Hello my fellow idiots and welcome to another viewer request. This is a video on how to host your bot on Glitch and it has been requested a fair bit because there's been a, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of WTF mate. So we are here to get you sorted. Right, first things first, go to glitch.com, ignore the childlike graphics. This is something you would see uh, in the early 90s from kids that think this shit's all cool. But yeah, sign in with GitHub. That'll make this process a lot easier. Uh, once you've got to like, this page, uh, click Start a New Product and Create a Node App. Now, I will say that this is basically designed for Express-type websites. It can be used for bots, but there's a few caveats you need, and I'll cover those as we go along. Right. The reason why I said sign in with GitHub, because it makes adding your bot to the project so much easier. Instead of having to copy and paste file by file and triggering an uh, update, as you do. Because Glitch thinks it's a great idea to relaunch on a character press. And I'm not kidding. For example, watch. See that little flicker? That is basically your app getting reloaded. So that's not good. So click your project name, which is right here. If you want to rename it, just click there and you can rename it. Uh, you want to go down to advanced options. Uh, you want to grant repo access to GitHub before you can access this. But you want to import from GitHub. Now I'm going to do two examples. I'm going to import my super, super basic bot, which was designed for Hacktoberfest to get people PRs. <sighs> Okay, I see the errors because he's trying to do shit. We don't want it to do shit just yet. But, okay, let's just close that for now. Let us get shit sorted first. I uh, want to go to uh, your Discord apps and get a token, which is now down here for some reason. Just grab a token. Uh, where am I going? I keep forgetting. I'll throw it in here. Token equals that. Okay. Now, before we throw in the keep alive code, well, before we throw in a file required, I just want to throw in everything else. This code. Oh, crap. I will just copy and paste this from the git book so you can see what I'm doing. That is exactly how you need it, so do not touch it, do not alter it. Unless you have a dashboard, then you need to do something else. God damn, I cannot breathe. Okay, inside the package.json file, you need this line, which is already done. And you also need an engine's line. This basically tells Glitch what version of Node you want to run. So it's like, we want to run Node 8.4. No reason over there, just because. Okay, now we are ready to change this. Get rid of this line. Unless you've got a really in-depth configuration file, I mean, this one is just literally just for the token. So I can delete that file. Yeah, delete it. And just delete that line. And change this. To process.environment.token. Now. Now is the time to include what are the errors. I cannot find. I'll sort that out in a sec. 
Uh, now it's time to add the watch.json file. I don't know exactly what this does, but it basically watches for file changes and it will update every 15 minutes. Now, uh, this is complaining about Express. So you can click on package, add package, express, click it, and it'll have been added. Now, it's not rebooting. So just do a quick doodle, and it'll install, and it should launch. So let's see. I'm online, I'm online. Now, are you online? Yes. Pigging and ponging. So that is how you get your bot online. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with an actual bot. So, I am going to import York Dev, aka my guide bot. Now this will take a while and it will require a fair bit of work. Pardon me. But the first thing we want to do is go to package.json and we want to add the engines because like an idiot I forgot to add the engines in the package file. Do not touch that. Or well, some of them you can, but just for the time being, just don't. Oh, Edmap got dead. Nice. Okay. Now, go to the ready event. And you want to comment out these, unless you plan on using Twitter and the dashboard. And that should be fine. And this is complaining about uh, mismatched versions. Don't worry, I'll sort that out in a second. Go to the app, throw in the keep alive code. So as I fucking find it, there it is. And the watch.json. Uh, where's the new file button? New file. Watch.json. Add file. Add that shit to it. Okay. Now it's installing node 8.4.0. It should build fine. And we should be good to go. In theory. Just like build while well, I just sort something out on this end. Okay, still complaining about mismatched versions, which is perfect because I get to show you how to fix those errors. Click on your project name and go down to advanced options, then click open console. Uh, node v 8.4, ok 
okay we don't have to do i'll just show you the command anyway if it's if it's showing like any other version the version that you want nvm so no, november victor uh Miller, Milo, Mike, November Victor Mike, use a four, not slash, a four zero, and it'll use, they just do npm rebuild, and I'll rebuild the project and everything should work on Gidori. In theory. So just wait for it to finish rebuilding. I'm so full of coal, guys. It's not real. I have a pounding headache. Come on! Fucking rebuild faster! Okay. Now. Config.js. That is something we can fix. That is something we can fix. I need to go to you. Rename. Now there's one more thing I have to do, and that is put you in there. Oh wait, yeah, I need to fix that because it's trying to access yeah. Incorrect hey, log well, details provided. But you got that. Okay. Let's get rid of the translate command because that requires an API. Now to trigger an update, I'll just do That, and that should build. What was that? Incorrect login. De the details are correct, but oh wait, 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 wait! I didn't. I did a goof. I did a goof. I did a goof. Uh, wait, no. Where's the conflict? Yeah, there it is. Okay, now let's trigger. Here we go, here we go. You're supposed to have done the. F Okay, okay. npm install. It did not do the pre install. Great! Yay! Great! Right, fixed it. But now I need to trigger another update. Now this should work. Logged in. Superbot is online. It's displaying. Okay, Superbot, watch your prefix. Prefix is dash. Score. And straight off the bat, Canvas works. Now I'm just going to do a quick eval to give myself some points. 
Okay. Beautiful. As you see, guys, canvas works straight off the bat. And we've also gone through debugging a few things. But that's pretty much it on how to uh, get your shit on uh, glitch.com. Now, there are a few caveats that I mentioned before. You need the... Where's the app? Oh, that's really sensitive mouse. You need the keep alive code. Now, if you're using the dashboard, you don't need it per se because people will be visited. But it's best to have an external source pinging your domain as well. So, for example, if I go to here, it says OK, ping received, ping received. So, if you're Pigging this website from an external source, you'll be fine. Now, I hope that does it for you guys for this video. Uh, I didn't really need to go blow my nose. I really apologize if I'm grossing any of you, but I don't give a shit. You want content? I'm ill. I'll knock on. So, by all means, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you need support, go to the server. I can't help you on the channel. But yeah, seriously, if you need help, go to the server. I can't help you on the channel because it's shit. And you get a faster response if you go to the server anyway. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you in the next. And don't forget, code us do it with a semi.